안녕하세요. 제 이름은 산티에입니다 이름은 유튜버예요. 오늘은 Okay, I don't speak that much. Hi <laughs> guys, it's Santi Radio. So, since I'm the this Japanese radio's personality, I gotta talk about this topic. It's about the cancel Korea. It's a hashtag, yeah. I didn't know about this at all. Yeah, but one of my one of my subscribers has left comments. Please, Santi, talk about this right now, because it's movement. And I was like, oh, what the heck? I I'm kind of SNS guy, you know. I just check all SNS, YouTube, whatever, Twitter, but I didn't find any of this. But somehow in the world between Korea and Philippines, it is now popular. Yes, and in fact, I found many videos about. You know, Filipinas talk about uh, South Korean people, and South Korean people talk about uh, Philippine people. But most of videos are kind of peaceful video. Like, uh, sorry, Filipinos, uh, you know, that was too much. Some Koreans are extreme, whatever. Da, 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 da. And the Filipino also, please let's make a peace, whatever. I like the harmony, you know. I'm Japanese. I like the harmony, man. However, some YouTubers, some uh, South Korean YouTubers, they are, I think, they overstep, man. They just uh, start drawing the picture of the Filipino flag, start ripping off and throw it to the camera. I just felt, I just felt scared, man. Seriously, yeah. That, that, did you, did you see the uh, video? Oh God, man. Uh, yeah, I never seen that eye except on the, like uh, breaking news, you know. <laughs> seriously, that kind of scary eye. So, yeah, I think she was seriously mad about this. But, but is that big deal? Seriously, first of all, as Japanese, you know, okay, let's put the, about the flag problem aside, okay? I'll talk about it later. I'll come back. Don't worry. But why you have to react so much, you know, about um, just a flag or something? And fuck, man, it's not even a flag. It's a heart and the vessels. That's it. Seriously, I'm sure she didn't have the, you know, Japanese flag, Navy flag right here. No, she had a heart on it, you know? It looks like a rising sun, yes, but come on, there are so many monuments, so many things looks like a rising sun. It's not about only us, seriously. Come on, man, there's a right, there's a right for everyone to use that kind of monument stuff. It doesn't associate, we don't have a copyright. <laughs> Sorry, South Korea, we don't have a copyright. I appreciate that, it's us, it's only us. But it's not, you know, everyone can use it. So, um, yeah, South Korean people, come on, easy, man, easy, you know. And also, like, some people start attacking them, like the guy ripping off the flag. I know, in South Korea, they love leap of the flag. And the burn, leap of the flag, burn the flag, or, I don't know, put a box on a name on it, like a Toyota, and step in the box, burn the box, and burn the picture, leap of the picture, and stop in the picture. Yeah, that kind of... I've seen that kind of stuff all, almost every day, man, seriously. They love that kind of movement. Mm. Maybe that's a culture, you know. I have many Korean friends, man. I learned Korean for three years, so I think I have a right to talk about this. But they are so enthusiastic, energetic, emotional compared to other Asian countries. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sure they admit this too. Except South Korea, plus North Korea, I guess. But that peninsula is so emotional in many aspects, in good way and bad way sometimes. Japan, on the other hand, so calm. So calm, chilled, man, relax, as most of foreigners know us. So we don't really do that kind of stuff. But um, and I don't really see that other country doing this because it's simply rude in our culture standard. But seems like in Korea it is okay. So uh, I can download uh, this Jessica Lau pictures and then just burn thing her whatever. I I don't like I don't want to do that, of course, you know. But um, people does the stuff right in Korea. Mm. So I hope, I hope, you know, it is okay. If it's culture, let's keep it in a culture and in your country. But why are you uploading the YouTube? And why YouTube keep uploading that video? Why they don't ban this? It's just simply dis distracting, man, I felt, you know. And, okay, back to the story. So some people start reacting about, you know, the, each other, right? But come on, in the world, there are many haters anyway. There are many people who talk shit about all the time, the negative about everything. Why we care, man? Seriously, just let it go. Seriously, they don't, they don't, you know, change their mind easily. You know, that's how I felt. But many YouTubers actually jump on this movement 
and maybe even me by the way even me yeah and they're making video and then start talking about let's make a piece let's make a piece yeah that's true let's make a piece but let's not bother them that's one more thing i want to add let's just ignore them you know they cannot change their mindset easily yeah who want to burn the flag who want to leave the flag they will anyway yeah it cannot stop it so what can we do mm. okay that's how i got the impression okay about this instant movement next thing as japanese i should talk about this which is japanese navy flag one thing i was kind of mm, about this you know that her jessica lee video she said hashtag japan japanese occupation of korea 1910 to 1945 fine okay yeah we made a uh, many we make it japanized there fine as we did in uh, other countries but at the same time okay she said that flag was used during this period okay yeah jessica that's kind of true but it is still used yeah japanese navy still has been using that flag so if you just uh, broadcast to your 300,000 subscribers and then this was 700,000 views already people just simply misunderstand that okay that flag was just simply only that period of time and just for korea and just for the occupation of korea and traumatic idea whatever they learned in, in korea only that time the flag was used but it is not it's been used way before that and also after as well still now we're using that that flag as far as i know jessica if you have an idea correct me if i'm wrong as far as i know that flag was not a problem at all after korea japan was fine after the war after we supporting each other and business wise everything was fine when we joined the navy party or not like uh, events in, uh, in international events the flag was there no one nag about it back in days the korean government korean government didn't talk anything about it traumatic idea they didn't bring up however from up to point they start bringing it up as a political issue which is the world cup the japan korea world cup i think yeah the world cup uh, one korean guy uh, started imitating japanese as a monkey so uh, in, in korea japan equal monkey even though korean and japanese are very similar face but anyway so maybe they, maybe they are following american standard i guess so you know in the west and you know japan as monkey and thing, thing right yeah, back in like uh, 1900 stuff and it is okay whatever it's passed but well, somehow that korean guy the soccer player start bringing up on a soccer field man soccer field it's uh, for sports but he, uh, they love to bring up the political stuff or everywhere and he did and then uh that was kind of offensive to us so we just made a claim about it why what why he's doing this to us what's wrong with this i mean we're just playing soccer why he became so political and then back in days i as far as i, I remember okay they just even made ex excuse that okay he was doing this because he saw the japanese navy flag and reminds me reminds him of the 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 war time even though he's fucking young yeah and then it became like a really emotional about it and that's why he reacting towards to it by doing monkey i mean what the fuck but anyway that's their logic and then the government back up the logic and they start talking about making it problem that flag is the problem since then since then i don't know about the uh, korean education since then that flag was it uh, as a taught that you know like uh, the symbol of uh, occupation of korea or like a world war ii whatever and then they start having heavily bad idea to the to the flag but again before that when we we're doing business together after the world war ii it's been years and years right there's no problem no one even care about it because there is no traumatic idea if they had one they had one before why all of a sudden happens why that's my question so jessica if you're watching this let me know seriously i want to know because you're telling me that uh, it was used and then, and then since you are influencer you know you have tons of people not like me i just have a uh, 2000 subscribers you have like a uh, hundred times of me 
And I want to know that since you have an influential person making this statement towards the people and your video is almost at a million views. You have a responsibility, I guess, to explain about this because they're just making the image about, you know, flag again and again. And then other people like Bella who watched that, you know, your video and who got the response reaction from Korean people start changing their idea, start changing, seeing the fact from different wrong, wrong directions. Yeah. I mean, we call it filtered, you know, view. Therefore, I want to, yeah, if you, if any Korean people watching this speak in English, I want to know what you think about why my comments. Again, it's, please don't bring up the bullshit, okay? Like about uh, like uh, other stuff. It's, we're talking about now, this one, okay? And also, again, I like Korea. Actually, I really like Korea more than other Japanese, you know? I like many singers also. I spoke Korean. I speak Korean, but I studied a lot. Over three or four years, man. I have many Korean friends as well. So there is nothing political, nothing personal neither. Just simply, the way you see, the way broadcast was not fair. That's how I felt. As Japanese, what do you think? This is Japanese radio, okay? So, looking forward to your comments, okay? Anyone. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, guys, take it easy, all right? Peace. Harmony. Bye.